Hi, so today we're gonna to have a look at the FJD P1 slam scanner. So if we just start setting it up, we've got the actual uh, scanner itself, which will clip into place. That's also quite important because that's for doing the ground control points or any targets you've got on the wall for your georeferencing. You, your handle doubles up as a battery and then for your colorization and your video, you've got the Insta360 camera, which goes on top. That just clips in. USB-C to USB-C, and then we turn it on. And now that's ready to go. So we've got USB-Cs and there's a USB-3 port there as well. So we can plug it straight into the computer and download it straight from there without having to use the app on the phone. For downloading larger scans though, I would probably recommend plugging it straight into a computer. So obviously on here, we've got the Insta360. So I am just gonna turn off the FJD and then unplug it. And then what we have in here as well is actually in the battery door compartment micro SD in there as well. So if we were ever struggling to get photos off it, so that's quite important that it's got its own SD card in there as well. So as you can see, I've got the app on my phone. This works on uh, Android or iPhone. Tells us the battery and the memory percentage in the actual um, P1 scanner. One thing you will notice on there, there is no 360 camera where we actually have the Insta 360 camera. What that enables us to do is have the video as well. So we've got full 360 video. If we go over to files, so if I was to look at this test one and hit download, I could download it locally to my phone if I didn't want to plug it in, just wanted to, for ease of use, plug it in. And then if I wanted it as an FJD slam, that will work with the try on um, computer application. And then we can look at things in a lot more detail and georeference and do whatever we needed to do in there. Um, or we could export it as a last file or both. For this, I'll just go download to local. So this will just literally download to my phone, click on there, and this is how fast it's downloading. So as you can see, it's downloading 300 MB pretty sharpish, but that is quite a small scan downloaded. And then I could share that or pull this off my phone, or I do have the option of getting it straight from the scanner itself. So at the moment, we've got it all switched on. We've got it on its base, full battery at the bottom. We've got the Insta360 on the top. So I'm just gonna start the FJD uh, scanner app. It connects up very, very seamlessly and then we can literally just have a look into it, have a look at the settings, and then we can go to scan, enter the project name, and I'm just gonna call it office test. It will have to initialize. You can just read it on the screen. It will tell you what to do. As you can see now, we've started the scan. We've got 62% battery, and we're currently at this location. So what I'm gonna start doing now is grab the scanner, and I'm gonna start walking around with it. And you will notice that it will start building up the point cloud. As you can see here now, I mean, if I was to put this on the table, just for one second, nice and sturdy, I can see now I've got my point cloud generating in here, and I can have a look and see how my point cloud's actually looking. So I've got this room in here, my trajectory I've got in there and then I've just had a quick look outside of that door and then you can see where I've just kind of picked up a bit of detail outside the door. You can actually collect a control point using that button there on the phone. Um, so if I had a sticker on the wall or a control point on the floor, that's at the point where I would measure, line up that mark and then add in my control point as per needed if I wanted to geo-reference it. At the moment, I'm just bothered about this scan data, what I've got in here. So I'll pick it up and we'll do our closed loop. So as you can see, we're making our way back through the kitchen. 
we can see our trajectory and we can see our point cloud live time. With it being a traditional SLAM scanner, we always want to end on the point we started at. We don't have any ground control points in here. So once we're done with that, we can say, right, scan is complete. Do you want to complete this project? Okay. So there are some tools within the actual application itself just to help you uh, visualize things. But if I just go back into Office Test, I can have a look at the point cloud we've done and the data we've collected. Obviously this is running on the mobile phone so it won't be as near a good as a representation of what you're going to be looking at inside. But you can see the office, you can see the rooms we've been in and then this just gives us a good indication that yeah we've actually picked up the detail we needed to pick up which was inside and outside of the office and just where we've walked through the corridor there. So we know all our data's in there.